but they, long story short, suck. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today, we're back on the truck. And what I'm actually gonna do today is finish up the bumper swap. Doesn't mean it's all installed and everything, but I had a couple things I needed to do. Like I got this already plugged in, that's all ready to go. But I need this, which is a spare tire cover. I actually don't have a spare tire in this. He, whoever owned it before me took it out for some reason, I don't know. But I don't have one, but it still looks gross. There just being a hole there. So I'm gonna finish that up. And then I also got some Morimoto license plate lights to go in here. They're upgraded. The ones in here, I don't know if they're bad from the factory or if it's just the bumper that I bought, but they, long story short, suck. So hopefully those are gonna be a lot brighter. So I'm gonna get to doing that. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so I got you on my hat right now. Um, I'm just gonna plop that in. So what's gonna happen here is this big ring is gonna go on the inside of here. And all these little tabs are gonna wrap around this inner part. And then this is gonna sit inside here like that. I think all these have to be facing like curved out. So they'll be curved in. And then the new clip should just be able to push it in and it should just snap right in, so. Okay, so here we are under the truck. That's the opening. Um, I'm almost positive it goes up like this, so squeeze this together. Try to be a little bit tight. Okay, well, I think that's it. All right, so now reach around, grab this guy. Remember, these ones are gonna be, those little points are gonna be facing out. So we'll just grab it. And that's a little bit tight. There it goes. So that's snapped in. And it looks like we're ready for the actual piece now. So let's grab it. Here's the view from the outside. As you can see, got all your little rings in there. So normally you'd have to line this up with something, but since I don't have anything there, I really don't. And now I'm pretty sure it just locks up around this. So you'll just push this in. All right, so I think I'm totally clipped in now. It opens up and closes, really no issue. I'm never really gonna have to open it up, but that just looks a lot better than a giant hole being there. So that wraps up the bumper swap. That looks a lot better than, like I said, a gaping hole being there. And obviously that's there, that's actually functional. Yeah, the truck's a little dirty, but that's actually functional. That just plugs straight into your factory wiring and plugs into the bumper if you ever want to do this swap so now i'm going to get to swapping these out which actually should be pretty easy and simple so let's hop up under there and see what we got to do all right so now first things first we're gonna to have to test as you can see this one's shining i don't know if you can see i don't know if the video is gonna do it justice but that is not like you can't even see the light on my hand normally with an led you would be able to it's even dim with, you know, my hand right in front of it. I mean, that, that could be an LED issue, I don't know. But I'm gonna open these up, turn my lights off. I'm gonna open these up and show you guys exactly what they are. So what these are, are the license plate housings and I think it's bulbs too. I don't know if they're built in. I'm pretty sure they're built in. So you've got your connector. It's more remoto, so I mean, you know it's gonna be high quality stuff now I mean these they look real good too I got the LED in there they got the angled so it should helicopter up there somewhere but it should be fairly bright and very well aimed now these were actually fairly cheap uh, I think they were like 33 bucks off Amazon I'll link them in the description as well as 
that little guy and the clips if you you know need that but i mean just looking at these they don't look complicated at all it kind of kind of looks like it slides in and then screws in so they look real nice they look very well made but let's hop up under the truck and see exactly what we're gonna have to do to install these bad boys okay so here we are under the truck i don't know if you can see it but there is a bolt here i'm not sure what that is but it is a small hex nut and it kind of looks like you can use a phillips head so i might try to do that and then yeah it just slides up the top here but i'm gonna go ahead and take dust we're gonna take this guy out all right i got my little stubby phillips head you can use a stubby because it's not gonna be on there that tight it's all plastic so it shouldn't be on there that tight and there we go it's that simple really i don't know they look fairly clean it may have just been the led that was trash or that is trash but these are still gonna do a whole lot better so and what's what are the odds of that pull out the right one let's put her in there it is looks good now I'm actually going to try to plug it in to see if maybe that LED wasn't just shot okay um, well it's working so that LED may have been burned out but that is incredibly bright like it's on my hand that one you can barely even see so I'm almost thinking it is an LED issue but that's that's solid in there even this one's kind of like loose and flimsy that one's dead solid and way brighter do another quick comparison before I do this one but look I mean just look at that I don't know if you guys can see it but compare this one which I mean you can see that to that one and yes there is an LED in there believe it or not so I mean so far um, I'm definitely happy with them so let's hop over to this side and take this one out all right guys so I mean there you have it these are the old housings I mean they still look to be in pretty good shape I don't understand I mean there's no reflectiveness in there so that may have been a problem but these are the new and like I said you could see and it's it is middle of the day out here you could see just how much brighter those are so that's gonna be a lot better plus I wrapped it up with my spare tire cover and that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video so that's pretty much really all I want to show you is just kind of wrapping up the whole bumper swap it is now 100% complete I figured that'd be something you guys would be interested in seeing if you want to do the swap wanted to get you know complete parts list and then obviously that lighting upgrade is phenomenal no I'm not sponsored by them but I saw them online definitely needed the upgrade so figured why not and I'm not disappointed at all so like I said that's gonna wrap up this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button. If you like the stuff I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button too. Go follow me on all my socials, Instagram. I have a Facebook page, my channel email. If you need to contact me for any reason, will be in the description below as well. Leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns about anything I did. Again, that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.